Faith is a choice that we make to depend upon God as God has revealed himself in his word. Which means then that faith is not a magnificent feeling. In fact, it has nothing to do with your emotions. You know, when it comes to salvation, people often say, I do not feel saved. And so they reason this way. They say, because I do not feel saved, therefore I must not be saved. But what people fail to realize is that faith has nothing to do with your feelings. Some time ago, I dealt with a man that said that very thing to me. He had just trusted Christ as a Savior. And in order to help him with the assurance of his salvation, I asked him this question. I said, if you were to die right now, where would you spend eternity? And he replied to me and he said, I do not know. Then I asked him why he did not know. And he answered, because I do not feel saved. So in order to help him, I had him turn to John chapter 6 and verse 47. And I read these words to him. The scripture says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me has everlasting life. Then I asked him, did you just now depend upon Jesus Christ alone to save you from your sin? And he answered to me and he said, yes, I did. Then I asked him, well, in this verse, what does God's word promise to those who believe? And he answered, well, the promise is everlasting life. And then I explained to him that everlasting life is not based upon how one feels, but upon the sure promise of God's word. You see, this man was like so many people. Oftentimes, people confuse faith with feeling. But you see, faith depends upon the facts. It depends upon the promises of God's word, regardless of how one feels. The Bible says that he that believes, he who depends upon Jesus Christ, has everlasting life. You see, faith simply takes God at his word. You know, your alarm clock may go off at six o'clock in the morning and you wake up and say, well, it doesn't feel like six o'clock in the morning. But you know what? Your feelings do not change the fact. Regardless of how you feel, it is six o'clock in the morning. And friends, the same is true with faith. Faith is you and I simply taking God at his word. And the just, the Bible says, shall continually live by faith. And that's the faith, that's the life that wins. And may God take his word and bless his word to your life today.